hello everybody so guys here I'm just gonna program the file so first of all I'm just putting the HTML here and just going inside this HTML file the head tag going down and the body tag okay cover this up and going to the head area again and just putting the title and here inside the title we can put anything whatever we want so I'm just going inside the title and I'm just putting something like the react JS tutorials or something whatever now I'm not gonna put anything for the body because absolutely it's, it's, it's only the front end I'm not gonna hard code anything here this will be used for the data and then we'll be just going there for more info we'll be talking about the uh, about the JSX in the next class in the next lecture so for now just simply code whatever I'm coding import react from react and then there I'm just gonna add another class actually the first class the class name I'm just putting as app and adding in space extends react dot component this one is actually the very first component of the react I just want to clear you one thing that everything inside the the react considered as a component We'll be talking about the components later on and absolutely you will be needing to understand the components logic because it's absolutely an important thing for the react if it is working on it let's just capitalize the c and then go there call the braces go inside the call the braces render i'm just going to talk about all these things later on about i'm just going to clear these things what are these things but for now just do whatever i'm doing because for now i just want to show you how we can get the result just make it just use it like a function and just go inside the cold braces add two cold braces after the render and I'm going inside the render and then the return statement open up two cold braces sorry the parentheses and just go inside the parentheses and yeah don't forget to put the semicolon of the parentheses go inside it and just make a div yeah this is a logic I'm just gonna guide you what it is for now just simply type learn or we are learning react js okay awesome awesome you can see that here yeah, we're just uh, using the html tags actually jsx works in its way that we just can use the html tags inside the jsx so you actually do not need to learn the jsx a lot more but there are some techniques i'm just going to talk about this later on so what more we just need to do we just need to go very down and just type something like export a small letter export space default app like this now the time is to go to the main.js i'm just going to the main.js and first of all i'm just going to import something now i just want to clear you one thing when we're just talking about the react or the node logics when we just uh, import something if you just want to use anything uh, for example there is uh, a content we've made there is a component we've made inside the app.jsx if you just want to use this outside of the other parts of the application means the main.js or somewhere then we have to first of all we have to export this one okay when we just export this exported this application names class app class here yeah, we just exported that now we are able to use this in other parts of the application like uh, the main.js and UDC but here you can see that we just imported remember we just installed the npm installed react we installed the react and this one is actually that react clause here we are just using and we are just extending if you just know the very basic logic of the classes and the other parts of the so now here we are just using the same logic there we just made a class and we just exported that so now we can use this class there to the main.js and I'm gonna use that absolutely Hopefully you just got the basic logic, but the very first thing is I'm just importing the react I'm just clarifying that this space is actually the reacts element. So react. This is what I just did here import react from react. Okay react from React, okay, a line break another thing I'm just gonna import it and now what I'm just gonna import it. if you remember we just downloaded we just installed the react Dom to from the spelling was react dom okay now we're just going down and just making importing another thing now i'm importing this the class we've made here this class we just exported here and i'm just gonna 
call the class here by importing it okay by importing we'll be able to use the elements of the class import app from now the app is equal class and now from the dot here i'm just adding the directory dot jsx okay cool now let's go down and a little few things here we just need to do i'm just going to the index.html first here i just need to add a few things but before just guiding you what i'm just going to do here i'm just going to go to index.html and i'm just going to inside the body i'm just making a div here okay inside this div what i'm just doing i'm just uh, adding an id and i'm just going to actually call this id there this that's why i'm just doing this one first and uh, here i'm just calling the id and id name i'm just uh, selecting is app and just going down in here i'm just uh, adding in a script also and why i'm adding this script you know adding in space and src and here single or double quotes whatever you use and there the main dot js okay so this one is actually i'm just calling here oh sorry no here i'm not going to use the index the uh, main dot js i'm just going to use the index dot js now what is the index dot js it is little tricky but very simple and easy when it just comes to the web packs here i'm just going to configure things actually this is even the very interesting thing that it's routing things here from there there from here so now you know that here we've added the index.htm index.js file and absolutely we didn't make that file yet but i'm just going to design the webpack.config.js then you will understand what the meaning of this so for now here is the application and this i'm just going to use there and uh, what i'm just doing react dom dot runner you can say dot you can say uh, period or whatever you want i'm just going inside it the application cover this up oh sorry here add this there comma document dot get element by id cover this up and here i'm just calling that app okay the app i just made here this one i'm just calling here sounds everything is adjusted in the main.js so i'm just going to give a pack config.js the very important file when we just want to launch the very first hello world application or here what we just put it the we are learning react.js this is actually just like the hello world application i'm going to give a pack.config.js I've already wrote the code for the webpack.config.js because it's not a thing you should learn but I'm just gonna guide you the configuration variable I just made here the very main important element it's an array and here I just added the entry point dot main dot js and there I just want to make a path uh, for output I'm just making the output directly so okay the file name will be the index.js there there the period this one is the file we just didn't make yet but we just called it here and we're just uh, uh, any output we're just actually creating a file in index.js the dev server here is an important thing we're just configuring the area you know inline true port 8080 okay you can use any port you just want like 707777777777 or double eight double eight or 8080 eight, whatever and there is a module i'm just adding a loader a test and exclude and loader babel loader just add all these things like that and just uh, uh, a few more things we just need to do we just need to check the work if it's working the application now let's just check it out i'm just going to the notepad uh, sorry the command prompt npm start and line break okay it's just it's just giving some kind of errors i'm just going to check this out the error um program doesn't contain the package.js file okay and uh, there are multiple kind of errors to this show okay i'm just going to check this one the error actually starts from there <laughs> I, I was just checking the old error but this one is actually the real error the missing script is the start okay i got the meaning I just need to go there. I just need to go to the. Um, I'm just going to the folder. 
the react.js folder here is it and I just need to go inside the app.jsx sorry there is the uh, package.json file I'm just opening this one and there in line number seven we just need to delete this test file okay and I just need to add another thing here instead of the test file I just need to add the start the webpack dev server hot I just don't need to test anything right now going there and just typing the npm start and running this up and now I just want to see the result um, okay cool project is running at uh, localhost 8080 you can see that the server is running now localhost 8080 need to go to the browser there I'm on a browser I'm just uh, opening the file localhost and uh, you can see that the 8080 you can see that the react chase tutorials it's there but the other things are not showing what we just need to see the other result we just need to see this one as a result but it's not visible there and I'm just gonna check this out why it is this one is actually visible you can see that the react tutorials you can see that here but the data is not visible if I type anything here this will be visible save it and refresh that you can see that but I just don't want to get the data from this file I just want to get the data from the JSX file so I'm just gonna check this out the reason why it's not visible there something we just did wrong this is right actually so we just need to go to the main.js and uh, oh okay here yeah. the get element.id the g must be small letter you need to know these things because this is a very basic javascript technique so now i just made it the g a uh, small letter going to the browser again and now you can see that we are learning jsx uh, js sorry we are learning react.js now the interesting part i just want to show you for now if you just see there if I just go there and just add some more things or some changes, I just want to show you an interesting thing here. Just focus on this. If I just remove this one and just make it save and you can see that it's automatically updated. You just don't need to refresh the file, okay? I'm just adding the, the data again, react.js and saving it and now it's updated. This one is an interesting and cool part uh, of the react.js or actually uh, it's because of the local host. We're just running the node.js. But it's working fine. So guys, in the next class, we'll be talking about more. Absolutely, we've run our very first application. Just focus on what we did. In the next class, we'll be clearing all these stuff. Why we did that and what it was the reason for that. Okay, goodbye.